feel like one of the elites. <laughs> If you've ever had fancy ketchup and thought, this could be a little fancier, Heinz has exactly the thing for you. Ketchup caviar. There's no fish eggs in this caviar. It's actually just little globs of ketchup, kind of caviar shape. They sort of look like capers to me. This is actually not available in stores. Heinz made it as part of a giveaway and they gave away only a limited amount of them. People are selling these on eBay for like $300, so it's very exclusive. <laughs> so we're gonna find out if it tastes just like ketchup. I'm not really sure how it'll work. You can't really dip anything in it. Let's see. These are really small and I don't know exactly what the texture is going to be. I kind of wonder if they're, if they're like ketchup gushers, you know, if they'll burst in my mouth. Yes, that is exactly what they are. <laughs> This is the classiest hot dog I will ever eat in my life. Hmm. One thing that's really cool about these is that a good hot dog will have like a really good snap to it and you get an additional snap from bursting these caviar bubbles. It tastes just like ketchup, by the way, but it certainly feels classier than regular ketchup. So as fancy as this ketchup is, it poses a real logistical hurdle because you can't actually dip anything in it. It just ends up... So if you have very good fine motor skills and a good sense of balance, I guess you could eat your fries like this. <laughs> you know, the slime that's around it is not very good tasting. <laughs> this watery slime around it, it doesn't really work for fries at all. Ketchup is a dipping sauce, and so while this is very cool and very fancy, it does really seem to kind of defeat the purpose of the true nature of ketchup. When Heinz made this promo video, they showed it being put on oysters and on a fancy avocado salmon toast, which are generally not things that I would recommend putting ketchup on. You should not put this on oysters. I'm Maura Jedkus, a reporter for the Washington Post, and I think I'll just stick with the regular ketchup.